Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dwarf Romantic. Okay, I haven't played this game in a while. Uh, it was fully released, it's out of early access, which is amazing. Um, so I wanted to come back and, and try it out. There's a bunch of new modes, so we've done the tutorial, we've done classic, I showed off creative mode a little bit. Um, there's now a quick mode, a hard mode, a monthly mode, and a custom mode. I think custom actually might have been in the game earlier as well. Um, I don't know what any of these are. <laughs> no idea. Um, monthly, I'm interested here. I'm interested in hard mode, although I don't think I'm that good at the game, and it's been several months since I've played it. Quick mode is just a limited number of tiles, so I don't know if I... It might be fun, um, but I want to try this monthly mode, so we're going to hop in and try that out and see see what it's like, see what we... What, it, what it's all about for this month. So this is, um, admittedly, this is probably gonna get posted in July, so it's currently June. I assume we'll get the June one. So we want to, you know, we want to have our borders match, right? So we can kind of remember, right, how to play this game. So that could be a very good placement. So unfortunately there's no way to match two there. There's no way to match two at any point here. So we just need to go with our favorite. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I meant to rotate it. <laughs> and I didn't, I am a silly. Let's see, so no forest there. We have just grassland. And so I wanted to revisit Dwarf Romantic because I've missed it. I've also been feeling very, very stressed in my life. It's been, um, you know, a challenging few weeks in, in my life. And so I kind of just wanted to have something to go to to relax. So. Here I am. I hope you're excited for some Dwarf Romantic. We have some other games going on on the channel right now. I know we have Rogue Legacy, we have Majesty. I still definitely want to play those. I am not in any way saying I don't want to play those. Okay, yeah, this is a, this is a good one. Because we want to get those perfect tiles, right? We know those are worth a lot of points. So I've just been um, a little bit stressed with what's going on in, in my life right now. And I wanted to get a chance to relax a little bit. So I hope, I hope you can uh, enjoy some Dwarf Romantic. I've also been meaning to check this out ever since the full game was released. So cool how the water will change depending on what it is that you give it. Oh, we're getting so many water tiles. Okay, so we want to just. There we go. Um, I mean, maybe we move and start a second room. We don't want to put all of our eggs in one basket, so to speak. So I'm not seeing any quests. So it could just be that this is a limited number of tiles that we just get to make whatever we can make. Um, and just earn as many points as we can. We don't have that many right now, because I do tend to play like quite expansively. Which is probably, like, not the best um, for a mode like this, but we'll see. We'll see what we can, we can get. That's good. Alright, we got one perfect tile, which is great. 
all about that. Alright, we've got forest and homes. So that's two, but that's not that many. So this is now like homes on all sides. So we could just close this off. It would be a really good almost um, to this one being perfect. I think if we like actually did that it would be perfect but that would block off a perfect elsewhere so I'm not sure that that's what we want to do. It's so difficult to find the perfect placements. Doesn't mean it's not worthwhile, just means it's difficult. Right. More water. So we can also put this like in many, many places. Um. I think right here seems really good. There's a second perfect tile. So we may only get a hundred tiles here. That's what I'm starting to think. And that's okay. So I think we're very near this one being perfect if we can get that one side, but So if we can get one here, I think we're just kind of grouping too many things together, you know, like we have some areas that are really challenging to get perfect scores on now. should we put this? So we have like three open grass fields right next to each other. But we don't have a savanna. We could start something new over there. Could put it here also. Maybe a little bit more challenging there. So maybe we'll put it here. We've got some houses. So I think it is going to be important, right, that we kind of um, group things together in a way that's the most useful. Like we're close here, but we're just not quite there. So maybe... Something over here could work. Oh, not quite. Not quite perfectly. If only we could like mirror our uh, our tiles. I think that would be really useful if we could do that, but we can't. All right. So let's think. Water, river. We have homes now. That's a good spot. So that's maybe getting this to be a little bit more challenging. I mean, we could get perfect here because this is pretty easy with the water to get a perfect score. Um, but housing does not count. It can't be housing because yeah I see now the edges are red if they don't line up which is actually really cool I think that's a lot of fun so let's do that it's a lot 
There's three good ones, but one bad one. I'll do it anyway. We'll take the perfect. I think if we search right for the only thing that makes any sense, we won't find it a lot of the time. And I think the perfect tiles are worth a lot of points. <laughs> well, actually, I know they are. So I mean, we have like trees there. I wish. Just put it there. I think that's good. Also, I've forgotten just how amazing the uh, soundtrack in this game is. It's really beautiful. I've missed it. I used to put it on while I was studying, um, doing my schoolwork all the time. And I just haven't recently. I haven't. I should. I should do that again. It's really hard to fill in these holes when you want to get like perfect placements of tiles. Very difficult. But that one, it's very close. I'm gonna I'm gonna place it because it's it was very good. It wasn't perfect, but it was very good. got more ocean or not ocean but water all right lots of trees okay so here we went like three trees two grasslands and a house that's gonna be a tall ask tall order there but if we get it it's gonna be amazing If we get it. We'll just do that. And we'll put the tiny little cap to the forest, I think. That's not quite right. It's close, but no cigar. Oh, but that wasn't good. Ugh. I'm messing all this stuff up. Okay, so we do have a lot of grasslands here. So let's not discount the grasslands, they're really important. I don't know if there's a great place for that except for kind of starting a new thing. So down to 49 tiles. I assume that this is just going to end whenever we run out of tiles um, and we don't have a way to get more. So we're just trying to get the most points. I assume that's what we're doing. It didn't actually like tell me what we were doing. It's not that great, but we'll put it there because again, perfect tiles are worth a lot of points. And when we're not playing the long haul, sometimes you just gotta take the best placement you can get. All but one. I'm gonna take it, because we're probably not gonna get a better fit. Da 
that's a pretty good placement. A bunch of trees with one house. Well, that's really close to perfect. Again, just because we do care about points quickly. It's kind of interesting to play like this, because normally, right, we're always trying to, like, stay alive. Which can be a lot of fun. We're pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Um, and then, you know, you kind of get to a point, right, where, like, you can be very, very careful with your placements to try and only get perfect. But yeah, sometimes that's maybe not as fun. Maybe? I'm sure I'm not playing this well. I'm sure I'm playing it like all wrong to try and be at the top of the leaderboard or whatever the goal might be. But I'm just chesting it out, seeing what I can see. And hopefully you are relaxing with me, because that's always what I wanted to do with these episodes, is just kind of, right, have a relaxing time. That's a perfect fit. Heck yes. Oh, we still, we still do get more tiles for perfect fits. Okay. Uh, the, I am understanding. The game is changing. Just a little. Not a lot. But I'm understanding now. So perfect tiles are the only way that we can quote unquote stay alive in this particular scenario. Let's point the houses that way. All right, what can we do with this? Ugh, it's gonna, but we have the house there. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, there we go. it off there. It's okay. Hmm. I want to zoom out a little bit just to get the lay of the land here. That's a good spot for it. Okay, so that's just grasslands. Alright, two houses, two trees, grasslands in between them. grassland. This is a really powerful um, tile. It's usually really good for filling in like empty spots in the center. We actually don't have any right now. Um, which is rare for me. Definitely. Very rare. Um, we don't have really that like any one space that's amazing for it. We have several places it can go. here over here is probably going to be our best bet for it right now. Hmm. 
Is that a... Uh, is that all sides working? I feel like yes. So I mean that's a... Yeah, all four. We got 40 points for that, so it was. I mean, excellent. Mad about that. This will give us a perfect there, but not allow us then to get some perfects maybe elsewhere that we might want to later. Put it there for now, that's a decent spot for it. All right, half trees, half grass. And let's see, I feel like there's a spot for it here, right there. There we go. about to get one of these transport stations. Those ones are lovely because you can kind of connect them up to anything. We haven't had any railroads. I wonder if those are just like not in the monthly challenge. Maybe they aren't. Maybe railroads aren't part of this month's challenge. Maybe it's about waterways. Maybe railroads just aren't in here, and that's okay, too. Okay, some water. And some trees. See, like... You end up with places like this where you want a house and then savannah and then two trees. And that's just a difficult ask. Like, it's very challenging <laughs> to find what you need for those situations. So I'm going to do that just to get some perfect placements. Again, it wasn't like perfect, perfect in that everything was amazing, but you just gotta take what you can get sometimes. Alright. This is a good placement for it. Very good. We are down to 19 tiles left. Trees plus savanna. That seems good. A straight line of houses. Yeah. Alright. Trees plus one house. Grasslands on this one. This is a good spot. Alright, a pure grassland tile. Again, the very powerful tiles, but we don't have a great spot for them right now. Almost. Okay, but I knew I'd get the perfect, so that's why we've done it that way.
So we've got some houses, some trees, and one solitary open spot. Houses and savannah. Again, it's not perfect, but this one will be. And you've got to make some choices when you're kind of this close to running out of tiles. Like, we have 11 tiles. That's not great. So we'll just do what we can. Is this three? One, three, two, three. We'll just do that one. Because again, we've got to finish off tiles here. That's kind of the most important right now. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Trees, savannah, houses, a little bit of everything. Just savannah. Just trees. I like how it turns red. It's like, warning, you are running out of tiles. Oh, you can't actually see how many tiles I have left. I can't believe I just now noticed that. My bad. Uh, no. That's better. Now you can see how many tiles I've left. I'm sorry about that. Totally didn't even notice. I was just so excited to be playing Dwarf Romantic again. There we go. Three perfects all at once. You get extra points when you get more perfects at the same time. Because why the heck not? Okay, just some trees. Some trees for thought. Lots and lots of trees. So is there a good place for lots and lots of trees? Here's the best. It's still not great. Savannah and houses. Doesn't line up well enough. There we go. Every tile has a home if we look for it enough. We only have three tiles left, so this may well be the end. Let's see, can we get any really good anythings in here? Alright, Savannah. You can get one perfect right there. This one would be perfect. I'm just trying to see if it's the best one we have, but I think it's the only way we get one more tile. I don't know if we have another perfect though. This may well be it. Nope. Alright. We're keeping ourselves alive. It won't last. I guarantee that. But trees and savannah. Trees and savannah. 
Where can we put some trees and savanna? That will work. Alright, what about just trees? One more. We're run out of places to even complete tiles. And we're putting ourselves in a messy spot in terms of making more perfects later. Alright, trees and savannah again. Such a small little map. This mode's kind of fun though, it's very um, self-contained, I guess we could say. Alright. So monthly mode, it's June of 2022. I got a score of 5,080. I have no idea how good that is. It says I'm not on the leaderboard. I can continue in creative mode, I can undo, I can try again, game stats, 51.5%, that's kind of cool, oh now it has a leaderboard, I'm number 696, that's not too bad, I'm not upset with that, alright well that was monthly mode, we did it! <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a lot of point to replay. I mean, obviously, you can try and get a higher score, right? So we know no railroads. That's something that came up. Um, but I don't know if I'll play again before next month. Um, in this, we might not. We might. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.